Number one, if you flip this part below the case lever down, you can actually lock your Mac Pro closed with the little loop that gets revealed. I considered the lever itself pretty cool for years, until I realised what the lock icon on it actually meant. I'm assuming the loop for locking was created mainly so that IT professionals in workplaces didn't have to deal with employees or others interfering with the complex setup of server towers, or just their desktops in general. I guess the other benefit is, if someone were to try and steal expensive parts from your Mac, they'd have a lot more trouble getting the thing open. Number 2. The DVD or optical drive located at the top of the Mac has spare screws attached to it, so that if you want to put a second drive in there, you've got the screws to attach it to the case. This is such great forward thinking, and it gives insight into how Apple expected their computers to be customised by their customers. There are two slots for optical drive readers on the front of the 5,1, so there's absolutely enough space, too. Number 3. More on that space. There are actually two more SATA connectors for hard drives inside the optical drive area, one used by the optical drive by default. This gives you the option of running six SATA hard drives in total, as well as almost any number of PCIe NVMe drives with the right adapter cards. I've always been impressed with the near limitless storage potential on these machines. Personally, I run a four drive setup with roughly five terabytes of storage. Because of the way the sleds work on these Macs, I find it super useful to have one of them empty at all times, just so I can use a data drive as a plug and play, let's say if I need to clone a disk or format an SSD for a laptop. Number four. Hopefully you knew this already, but the middle case fan inside the 5,1 doubles as a lever to lock the PCIe slots with. Just push the button and slide left or right. This is genius design in my eyes. Just look at those little numbered labels. Locking the PCIe lanes is obviously pretty important, especially if you've got a heavy graphics card or other parts that could sag. So make sure you slide it right once everything's in place. Until the last year, I actually mainly used a PC which only had one PCIe lane. Having four on this Mac Pro is a really nice upgrade. I love my PCIe SSD, for example. Number five, the Mac Pro 5,1's power supply is a beast, capable of 980 watts continuous with a 1,200 watt peak. People have run dual graphics cards in this thing, and along with the already dual CPUs in a lot of these, that's a considerable power draw. Say what you will about big companies knocking off customers by using cheap parts behind their backs, but I've never heard of one of these failing. Delta Electronics produce these things mainly, and they're responsible for a fair amount of power supplies with a good reputation, both using their branding and under brands such as Antec. People big into desktop PCs will know that power supply failure is among the worst things that can happen to your computer. The best case outcome is you simply need a new power supply. The worst is that some of your parts could get fried and a new motherboard might be needed in the absolute worst case scenario. Number 6. The 2010 5,1s are Apple's joint longest updated Macs ever. From 2009's Mac OS X Snow Leopard to 2018's Mac OS Mojave, the 5,1 got 9 years of official support. The 2007 Mac lineup got a similar support length, but I'd like to see them against this Mac in performance right now. These days, newer Intel machines are getting 6 years support if they're lucky. That's likely to decrease to 5 or even 4, depending on whether the next macOS version is an Apple Silicon-only release. If you've not watched my other videos on the 5,1, I should point out that I run 12.3 Monterey currently, and it's absolutely possible to run macOS 14, Sonoma, nicely, using the Open Core Legacy Patcher tool. So, unofficially then, that's a 14-year run of the latest macOS versions. Not bad for my favourite Apple desktop computer. As always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Subscribe so you can stick around for the next one, one week from now.